Perseus, and the Gorgon Medusa legend stories for kids. Today we have a book named Perseus and the Gorgon Medusa legend stories for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in the ancient land of Greece, there lived a young and brave hero named Perseus. His story is a tale of courage, adventure, and magic that has been told for thousands of years. Perseus's journey began when King Polydectes, who ruled the island of Seraphos, sent him on an impossible mission to bring back the head of Medusa. Medusa was a terrifying gorgon, a creature so fearsome that anyone who looked directly at her would turn to stone. Before Perseus embarked on his perilous quest, he received help from the god. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, gave him a shiny reflective shield, and Hermes, the messenger god, provided him with a pair of winged sandals for flight. Perseus also obtained a magical sword, capable of cutting through anything, and a special bag to safely carry Medusa's head. Perseus's journey led him to the home of the Grey, three ancient sisters who shared a single eye and tooth among them. Cleverly, Perseus stole their eye and tooth, forcing them to reveal the location of the nymphs of the north. These nymphs gifted him with an invisibility cap and guided him to Medusa's lair. In the dark, eerie cave where Medusa lived with her Gorgon sisters, Perseus treads carefully. Using the reflective shield as a mirror, he avoided Medusa's petrifying gaze. With a swift strike of his magical sword, Perseus beheaded Medusa while she slept and quickly placed her head in the special bag. On his way back to Seraphos, Perseus had many adventures. He rescued the beautiful Princess Andromeda from a sea monster and later married her. Finally, he returned to King Polydectes, who had mistreated Perseus's mother in his absence. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn the wicked king into stone, saving his mother and the people of Seraphos from tyranny. Perseus then gave Medusa's head to Athena, who placed it on her shield, the Aegis, as a symbol of protection and power. Perseus, Andromeda, and his mother lived happily ever after, and his heroic deeds became legendary, inspiring generations to come. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.